this is Andrew from Tech Talk. Today I'm going to be showing you how to password protect your folders on your Mac. So this is a fairly easy process, but it does need a slight workaround to get you there. So the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to open Disk Utility. You can find that down in your Applications folder. You can also search using the search bar for that. And once you pull up Disk Utility, you're going to go up to File, hit New Image, Image from Folder, and that will bring up these options right here. You're going to choose where you would like to save that. We're going to go down to Downloads. We're going to choose that. Now you can change the name of the downloaded folder that you would like right here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, save this. You can select again where you would like that saved. Now under encryption, there's two different options. There's 128-bit and there's 256-bit. Now the 128-bit is recommended. It is a faster process for being able to get your files later. The 256 is more secure, but it will be slower getting your files later. Once you've selected what bit you would like, it's going to ask you to add a password. Once you've added that password twice, you're going to hit choose. Then you're going to go down to image format. Now, if you would like to be able to be changing this folder and adding to it, you can hit read and write. If you would just like to make it so no one can add or take away to this folder, you can hit read only. Once you're all done, you're going to hit save. This will create and mount that folder. And once it's done, you can hit done. And we're going to go down to our downloads folder. You will see right here, this is the folder that we created, the DMG folder. Now this is mounted, you'll notice, to unmount it. If you double click it, it's going to ask you to add your password. You can add that password. If you would like it to remember this password, in your keychain you can select that, but if you are sharing a computer or passwords with someone else, I would not recommend this. So once you are all set, you can hit OK. This will unmount the disk image. And If you go to devices, you will see right here that it's all set. Now we didn't add any files to it yet, but you can add files here. Once you are done, with that and would like to go back to the password stage to have it mounted, you're going to hit eject. Once that is ejected, it's back to just being mounted right where it was and you'll have to add your password once again to open it again. When it is unmounted, you don't need the password, so make sure that you eject it once you are done with that, otherwise just anyone can access it. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and hit that like button. You can also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our other videos on Tech Talk. Thanks and have a great day.